I promise you, this is the only guy you will ever need to download and install Forge 1.19.4 for Minecraft. As you can see, I was able to add journey map and you could actually add any mod that you want for Minecraft if you install Forge properly. So let me show you how to download and install Forge and how to fix any issues you might have along the way. Let's get started with the tutorial. Okay, so surprise, surprise, the first step to installing Forge is actually downloading it. So in order to download Forge, go ahead and click the second link in the description, which will bring you to our written guide on how to download and install Forge. Now, if you like to read and look at photos, this is the perfect place for you. But for those of you that just want to follow along the video, once you click on the link, go ahead and scroll down until you see the Download Forge here button. Go ahead and click on that button, and that is going to redirect you to this website where I want you to stop and pay close attention to what I'm going to say. As you can see, it says Forge 1.19, but I don't want you to get confused and download 1.19. We actually need 1.19.4. And in order to find 1.19.4, we need to look at the top left. As you can see, it says 1.19.4. In case it doesn't show there and it looks something more like this, just go ahead and click on the plus sign and it will show, as you can see now, it shows 1.19.4. Go ahead and click on that. And now, once it says 1.19.4 here in the middle of the screen, click on the installer and that is going to redirect you over here where you're not going to click anything. You're going to wait five seconds. Very important that you don't click anything. Just wait five seconds. And once it says a skip here on the top right, just like that, go ahead and click on it. And that is going to start the download automatically for Forge. Once you have the file, as you saw in my case, it asked me where I wanted to save the file, but for you, it's just going to download. Once you have that file downloaded, I want you to go ahead and drop it into the desktop. If you don't know where to find your file, it might be on your downloads folder, or if you're using the newer version of Chrome, it's probably here on the top right if you click this little arrow. If you still have the outdated version of Chrome, it might be here on the bottom left. Whatever the case might be, now we have Forge, and I actually want to test out Forge. I don't just want to install Forge for no reason. I want to add some mods to make sure that Forge is working. So that's what we're going to do. If you want to follow along the video, just click on the third link to download Journey Map. It's one of the most popular mods, and it's actually a little bonus for those of you watching this tutorial. You're going to solve Forge and actually get an extra mod on the side and you're going to learn how to add mods to Forge. So it's pretty cool. Click on the third link. Go ahead and scroll down until you see journey map and go ahead and click on that. Obviously, you could read through the guide and stuff, but well, you're just following along, I'm assuming. So go ahead and click on that journey map that is going to redirect you over here to the curseforge.com website, where if you're installing Forge, I'm assuming you're going to be modding Minecraft and curseforge is probably going to be your best friend later on. I'm not a sponsor by curseforge, but I really love the system they have and how you can find most mods here. However, let's keep going with the tutorial. Once you're here in journey map, make sure you're in the file section. Go ahead and click on files make sure you're in there and then we're going to scroll down until we find 1.19.4 for forge very important that you look for forge because as you might be able to tell it says fabric on some of them right here if you pay close attention it says fabric and if you look at others it says forge so we're looking for the forge one right so go ahead and find journey map for forge we're going to download the 1.19.4 which right now is a beta but it should still work so go ahead and click on download file right here on this little dark arrow right here on the right and remember make sure that you select the 1.19.4 and you selected the forge edition Anyways, once you click on that, it's going to be five seconds before the file downloads automatically. As you can see, the file downloaded. Go ahead and click on save if you have the same option as me. If not, once your file downloaded, just go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop. We have to wait for this little blue line to go away. That means it's still downloading, even though it says done. As you can see, it doesn't let me drop it yet. Oh, there we go. Now it let me drop it. And now we have Forge and we have Journey Map. So we are kind of ready to start with the process of installing Forge. However, before we do install Forge, I have to let you know something that is very important in order to have a successful installation. And that is that Minecraft, after Minecraft 1.16.4, requires you to have the newest Java version on your computer to install any mod for Minecraft. And that includes Forge. Java is pretty much the software that lets you run Minecraft Java. And if you don't have Java 17, you will be kind of messed up when installing this and this won't work. For many of you, if you click on Forge, it might open a website, it might open a text document, it might not even open at all, might give you a Java error, or these cops might not even show in there. Those little logos might not even show in there. And that is because you have an outdated version of Java. You might have Java 7, you might have Java 8, or you might not even have any Java at all. But of course, don't worry because I got you. I'm going to leave you a link in the description on how to download and install Java, the Java that you need for Minecraft 1.19.4. In this tutorial, I show you how to install Java 18. Disregard Java 18 when you're installing this. All you need is Java 17 because Java 18 has been discontinued by Java. So just follow along the guide. The guide is still pretty much the same, but instead of installing Java 18, just install Java 17. Pretty straightforward. And once you install Java, you might need to run a jar fix. So I'm also going to leave you a link on how to run a jar 
Perfects is a three-step process and that should take care of those of you that have issues installing Forge or those of you that have an outdated Java. Whatever the case might be, that should take care of that. Let's keep going with the guide. What is the next step? Well, the next step is installing Forge. Before you install Forge, make sure that you have closed Minecraft and you have closed the Minecraft launcher. Also make sure that you have run Minecraft 1.19.4 at least once on your computer. I don't want you to install Forge 1.19.4 before you have run Minecraft Vanilla 1.19.4 at least once. All you have to do is open the game and then close it and that's it, you're set up to install Forge, but you need to do it. Once you have closed your launcher and your game, go ahead and double click on Forge and that is going to open the Forge installer. As you can see, it's a very simple menu. All it says is install client and it should be already selected. Do not click anything else. We're not installing a server. We're not extracting anything. Just leave it as it is and click on OK. And let's wait for Forge to install. And while Forge is installing, I have to let you know something very important about today's sponsor, and that is Apex Hosting. If you're trying to create a server to play with your friends, it could be a Forge server, it could be Fabric, it could be a mod pack, you could play Artcraft, whatever you want to do for Java or Bedrock, Apex Hosting is offering 25% off for those of you that use the first link in the description to create your first server with Apex Hosting. They offer 24 seven support and something that I personally love about Apex Hosting is that you could access the server console through your phone. You could go on your phone and you could kick people out of your server. You could OP people, change the settings, whatever you want to do through your phone, you could do with Apex Hosting. So, so I'm going to leave that link. It's going to be the first link in the description for 25% off your first server with Apex Hosting. And let's check on Forge and see if it already installed. And as we can see, it already did install. It says successfully install client. Just go ahead and click on OK. And now you could even delete the installer for Forge right here. Just go ahead and delete it. And you could also delete this little text document that appears and now let's go ahead and open our Minecraft launcher. Okay, so it seems like Minecraft added a new feature to the launcher where you can turn it on on fire. That is pretty cool. However, don't let that distract you from the fact that you need to install Forge properly. So if you install Forge properly, it would show here on the bottom left. Let me make this a little bit bigger. It should show there. If that's not the case, if it doesn't show in there, just click on installations and make sure that modded is selected. If you don't have modded selected, Forge won't appear. So just click on modded and it should fix it. If that doesn't do it, just click on new installation. Make sure that you name this something like Forge. So you remember it's Forge and go to where it says version and in there, just find Forge. As you can see, mine is right here, release 1.19.4 Forge. And then just click create here on the bottom right. That should fix it for you if you couldn't get Forge at the beginning, just like I did. However, I'm going to assume most of you open your launcher and this is what you saw. You saw Forge already there selected. So what you're going to do in order to add the mods and in order to test if Forge is actually working, you're going to click on installations you're going to find forge just like that and you're going to click on this little folder that appears that is going to open a bigger folder with a lot of files as you can see in here but what you're actually looking for is for a folder called mods m-o-d-s and as you can see i have my mods folder right here you see it right there right as a matter of fact i'm actually going to delete that folder and i'm going to assume that many of you didn't even have a mods folder when you open this folder in here what you're going to do if you don't have a mods folder is create one yourself just right click and type m-o-d-s and now we have an empty mods folder, which is really what we were looking for. Go ahead and open that folder, drag and drop journey map into there from your desktop. And now you pretty much have journey map inside your mods folder for Forge, meaning that we should have journey map working in Forge and we're going to test that right now. However, before we do, I want to answer a question that one of you mentioned earlier on the channel. And that question is what happens if I wanna have Optifine with all the mods at the same time? And what you would do is pretty much install Forge and then add Optifine into this folder with your other mods like journey map, for example. And I'm also going to make a video in the future on how to add Optifine and Forge at the same time. So don't worry because that's gonna be answered on a video by itself. Anyways, once we add journey map in here, go ahead and close that folder, open your launcher and go ahead and launch your Forge instance. And as you can see, Minecraft is already open. And if we want to see if we install the mods properly, all you have to do is click on this little mods tab in here. And as you can see, journey map is showing there, meaning that we installed journey map properly. However, I'm still going to launch a world just so you guys could see a world with journey map in it and seeing that Forge is actually working. This world I just created earlier for another video that is probably already posted on how to increase your FPS using Optifine. So if you want to watch that video next, go ahead and click on it because I'm going to leave it on the screen and you should you should go watch it. Actually, it's over here. You should, you should go watch watch that video right now. Yeah, if you want to increase your FPS to like 1,500 like I did, go watch that video right now. Okay, what, what are you waiting for?